What is good, everybody? Today we are reviewing the WWE Ultimate Edition Series 21 Cody Rhodes figure. Now, this is a highly anticipated review and a figure I've been waiting on for a very long time. Of course, when he wore this gear, it was WrestleMania 39. He was battling Roman Reigns for the championship one year ago, and I was there in person to witness the L, man. I was very devastated. It was a tough pill to swallow, man. I gotta be real there. However, we do have this look in figure form, which is an attire and a figure I can appreciate. I don't think this figure is perfect by any stretch, but this is a figure I've been really excited about. We got some new parts going on here, and I'm really excited for the figure. Now, if you guys want to purchase this figure, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles. Use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But the figure is looking pretty swell, man. They're attempting their own way that the Supreme Jazzwares AEW action figure tried with the sculpted jacket arms compared to the first go-round, and we're gonna get into all the comparisons of course here today but we do have Cody here he's rocking the Seth Rollins torso here looking pretty damn good I might add got a nice shot of the man there on the side looking like George Washington or something and then on the back you get a nice shot of Cody there and a nice shot of Cody there and then of course the bio read if you want to read it you can pause it now but that is pretty much our packaging for this Ultimate Edition Cody Rhodes figure. One, again, that I've been waiting on for so very long. I'm very excited to get into the review, man. So with that being said, let's shut the hell up, dive into our Cody Rhodes Ultimate Edition figure, find out what this figure is all about, and find out if it's shish, is it great, is it somewhere in between. Let's find out together. So here's our Ultimate Edition Series 21 Cody Rhodes figure out of the packaging, man. I mean, this is pretty much everything I wanted out of this figure. But again, I, I don't think it's a perfect figure. But I do believe in in grandstand fashion, man. Just right here in front of my face, it is much better than his first go-around. And I did like the first go-around, but it didn't blow me away. I thought it was... I thought the formula could be better. I thought they could have done some different executions differently with that first go-around, that Mattel Creations exclusive. So seeing this one here, man, I'm very impressed. I love it. I think it's great. I'm a massive Cody Crybaby myself. So seeing this figure here, man, I am blown away. I'm enjoying this figure so much. And we're going to, of course, dive into the details of the figure, break down everything about it, get into the accessories, get into the comparison, see how it lines up to our first Cody. And of course, all the other Mattel Elite Codys that we have seen so far. And I can't wait for more, man. And we have the Elite 109 suited Cody that is going to also be reviewed this week. So lots of Cody to go around, man. But with that being said, man, let's dive into the accessories you get with this Ultimate Edition Cody, and then we'll take a closer look at the figure itself. So getting into the accessories that you get with the Ultimate Edition Series 21 Cody, Cody Rhodes figure. You get two interchangeable heads, interchangeable jacket arms, interchangeable non-jacket arms, the entrance jacket itself, some interchangeable hands, and a terrible weight belt. And we'll get into that in a moment. Now, first of all, we do have the standard head sculpt on here. This looks to be kind of the same head sculpt we've seen out of the Elite 101, the top picks, some basic figures. Not my favorite Cody Rhodes head sculpt, man. I don't know what it is, but this same sculpt, I'm pretty sure they used on the Defining Moments, Cody. And this one over here looks so much better to me. And maybe it's not the same sculpt, but I swear it is. It just has different paint apps or the eyes are printed differently or something is up with this Defining Moments head compared to this one because this one looks so much better. But regardless, I don't hate this head sculpt. It's just not my favorite. I'd like to see a brand new head sculpt or the smiling one probably would have worked too, but it's not bad. This part right here is annoying the hell out of me, man. I promise you there is a gap between his ear and the tattoo. The top of the tattoo and his ear, there's a big gap there. This is, there's no gap here. They don't replicate the gap and it makes it where when you put this on the torso and you articulate the head, there's a massive gap, and you see this on the chin and the jawline. It makes no sense. Gotta get away from that, man. But for our second head sculpt, it is the Ultimate Edition head sculpt that came on the Mattel Creations exclusive, and this is more accurate. You can see that the tattoo does not go up on the ear, which is more accurate, but I like this head sculpt. A lot of people said it was too oversized. I don't hate it. I think it looks pretty good for the most part. You got the screaming head sculpt in there. It looks like Cody. It looks like the Woe entrance. I think it looks really good. Passionate Cody Rhodes. I like it. I have no quarrels with this head sculpt whatsoever, and I'm fine that they included this with the second Ultimate Edition and the Mattel Creation. All right, man, here we go. The brand new weight belt that we have been waiting on for so long for our, not only Cody Rhodes figures, but for our Hulk Hogan's and other guys like this, a new weight belt compared to his old weight belt mold. Now, they have used this weight belt mold that you're seeing here with the Nightmare on it. They use this forever, but neither one of these are really very good. The first one, the thickness is probably more accurate. I like that they have the stitching in there, but there's no, first of all, there's no loop. There's no belt buckle. It looks nothing 
nothing like an actual weight belt, really. It's just kind of a strap that goes around. And then on the new one here, now, first of all, it does say Cody on there in the metallic gold, which is pretty cool, but it's a bit thin. It's got this hole here. I like how they have all these holes here for the, you know, the little, the teeth of the buckle to go through. But when you wrap this around, man, like the loop is sculpted on there, but it's so small and hard to see. And then this right here does not plug on here easy whatsoever. It's actually quite difficult to plug the weight belt in. Actually kind of, kind of tough. And they should have reversed it. The hole should not be on this side. The hole should be on this side. And the buckle and all this should be over here. So then there's just a hole here and then all the sculpts over here. So then you can just plug it in and it, you can, you can't see a hole. You can't see anything sticking through. It's just the belt and whatnot. So here's an AEW Jazzwares belt. And this is the best you'll find, man. You see how the belt and the loop is sculpted on this side? Like it looks dumb when it's unclassed, but it doesn't look that bad. It's not that bad. But in comparison to this, man, so look, you have the hole over here and look, there's a little peg right there. First of all, it's much easier to peg in there, but look, when it's plugged in, you have the loop, you got the buckle, you got the teeth coming through, and that looks like a secured weight belt, and it looks so good. So here's the two. Look at the difference. I just, I, I think that the Jazzwares one is much better. Now, I will say when you unclasp this, this might look more like an unclasped weight belt because it does have the little triangle at the end piece here, but still, I, I don't like the new weight belt mold. I think it was kind of a, uh, we waited so long for it, and I still don't like it that much. I think they should uh, redo uh, redo that one again. Now, with a lot of Ultimate Edition, you'll notice that some of them have interchangeable jacket arms. We've seen this with the Fiend Bray Wyatt. We saw this with Ronda Rousey. We've seen it with Bret Hart, Shinsuke Nakamura. A lot of different Ultimate Editions. So with this Cody, they tried their hand at a sculpted jacket with sculpted interchangeable arms. And all the sculpts on here look damn good. I call this the George Washington jacket. Got the American Nightmare logo on the back. Very clean. You have all this, all these sculpts on here. I don't even want to know what my man pays for these jackets. I mean, they're so high quality. I don't know who the hell makes them, but my God. It's like he gets them from Martha Washington herself. Shish is so nice and so high quality. Now one thing that is apparent is this back here, this black paneling. The black paneling you see on this jacket is supposed to be navy blue or dark blue and it's actually black here which definitely gonna try my hand at painting it I think but I guess it's not the biggest deal ever but it's definitely not accurate. But all the sculpts on this are very nice. And then for the sculpted jacket arms you got some sculpts here. These are brand new sculpted. It's crazy that they actually have pins though. I thought for sure they would have you know not no pins in there which is very rare to see on modern figures nowadays especially in the ultimate edition line but the paneling here on the inner arm is also black instead of navy. But the cuffs and everything look really good. They did a really great job. And on these arms, they do match. You know, they have all the, the bells and whistles. The gold and the metallic paint look good. The white is very clean. But how you would do this is you would take your Ultimate Edition Cody Rhodes here. You would put this on the figure like so. Clasp it in the front. Firmly clasp it. And then you take your interchangeable arms and you plug them in. And there you go. Now you have the jacket with the jacket arms in there. And it feels very nice. Very clean. Easy. And we'll take a look at what he looks like in the jacket compared to other jacket figures, but if you want to take him out of the jacket, you'll then pop the arms out of each side, and then you will unclasp it, take that off, and then you can plug in the bare arms. You know, everybody has a right to bare arms. So there you go. And you could put him in his wrestling gear. So it's a two-in-one figure, essentially. But besides that, he does come with a pair of interchangeable mic-holding hands. You got the right hand with the hand tape, and then the left hand with the finger tape, which is accurate to the moment, which also has the white peg that doesn't break up the wrist tape, which is really nice. And he doesn't come with fists, but he also comes with the throne sitting prayer clasping style hands or the woe entrance hands. So you only get two pairs of interchangeable hands with this Cody. Alright man, starting out in the Cody figure at the head sculpt. We already took a look at it. I don't need to detail it, but we will cover one thing, and that's gotta be this right here, man. The damn tattoo, man. When they look off like this, now you have this break of it, and it just looks dumb, man. Change that. I've already showed you there's a clear gap between the ear and the top of the tattoo. We just gotta take care of that. But going down into the chest, I feel like the dream tattoo is pretty accurate for the most part. I don't think it sits too, too high. It might could come down a hair if that, but I like that they included chest hair. I like that they switched it to the Seth Rollins torso. His first go around, which you'll see in the comparison, was what much worse than this, man. They went with like the damn Roddy Piper, Ric Flair style torso. And not that it was just the worst thing you've ever seen, but this is certainly better. This looks way more like Cody. You know, the man works hard in the gym. Give him some credit there. I like the shoulders. I like the arms. I think some striated, smaller shoulders would work for these figures a lot. You know, they give it to Undertaker and Roman Reigns and stuff. I think striated shoulders, like give us some striations a little bit would also be cool if they introduced that but he's got his neck tattoo in there and another thing when it gets to the top of the torso right here with this neck tattoo it will squeeze it a little bit so there is that but I like everything going on here I'm really enjoying this formula we do have the George Washington gear here just the navy blue looks really clean I like it with the white and the silver and the red and gold just looks so good I love the decal in the back as well very cool stuff going on there 
I like the details in there as well, like the pattern and the scales. And then he does have knee pads on here, which is very strange given that, you know, he's never really had knee pads on any other figures, especially in his return. But they do look good. They have his same patterns on there with like the, the you know, the coverings or what have you on there. Got the white, gold, and black. Very clean. Even have the red on the sides there. Got a little schmutz on there, which sucks. But the red, gold, and blue, they just, they complement each other so damn much. And then my favorite part, possibly, of the entire figure is the new boot mold they've given this man. So they even have the straps on the inside here. They have new Ultimate Edition feet. It also includes the American Nightmare logo, and the gold here is just so clean. Great gold color going on in the boots. And they even have the lip right here on the foot, which I really like. So, fantastic job on Mattel on these sculpted new boots. I'm very glad to have brand new boots for Cody. Way more accurate. Now, in terms of posability, this guy can pretty much do everything. I really would like to see Mattel implement a ball hinge instead of just a ball joint here. But, you know, he can do pretty much all this different stuff. He can't look down all the way or look up all the way because of that. But, you know, you get all the standard articulation, man. Butterfly joints seem to work pretty good for the most part. Can cross his arms and do all this different stuff. Can bend that back, which is also good. You get the full 360, of course, double jointed arms here that are pinless, which are clean. Good diaphragm movement here on the Seth Rollins torso. I really hope they give this to Finn Balor. Maybe they'll give him a new torso when we see a new demon Finn Balor. Hopefully from Mania 39. Still haven't seen that. Maybe we'll see that at Comic-Con. But waist swivel is very tight. He does have drop-down hips, which can help him kick forward better. And do the splits. Upper thigh cut. Got the Dolph Ziggler leg. So they're not pinless, which is nice in my opinion. So they're not going to be super stiff. You get the boot cut. You get a, the ankle rocker is kind of non-existent, but you do get the toe pivot in there and they can move down and up. But overall, this figure feels immaculate in hand, man. I'm really impressed with this. It's going to be, I bet it's going to be hard to beat this guy in Ultimate Edition form at the end of the year. Ultimate Editions have been crushing it this year, but let's get into some other Cody Rhodes figure comparisons. So for your Cody Rhodes figure comparisons, guys, here is every elite Cody Rhodes we've seen so far, not including the Elite 109, which again, we're going to review this week that's in the suit, but this is every other elite Cody Rhodes, not comparing the Ultimates, which we will in just a moment. But you have the Elite 101 in the all blue, the Defining Moments torn pet Cody in the white and blue, the top picks in this light blue metallic silvery bluish color, and then we do have the other top picks in the red, and I do believe we have another top picks coming in white gear, which I'm really excited for, man. So, all the Cody's coming out, love all of them, think they're all fantastic, they pose around. Some of the best Elites you'll find on the market today are the Cody Rhodes figures by how well they pose around, the likeness, all those things. But again, I think these are the, all three of these are like the exact same head sculpt which is crazy. This is a Jazzwares head sculpt, and this is the Top Picks head sculpt, which I think also came on the Mattel Creations exclusive Ultimate Edition, but I do like that we're getting different colored attires for all of these. You know, they're not the same. They're all different. You can pick your poison, but hell yeah, I'm enjoying this. And you'll also notice that this Ultimate maybe stands a little bit taller than the rest of our Elites. Not too, too bad, though. And then for your Mattel Ultimate Edition comparisons for our Cody Rhodes, we have the brand new Ultimate Edition on the left, and then the Mattel Creations Cody Rhodes Ultimate Edition on the right, which again, has the terrible torso, and the one on the left is much better in my opinion. You guys will also notice that this one stands taller because of this different torso, but I certainly like this one better. Like, this one's not horrific. Again, it just doesn't look as good as this. This is more accurate. I think it's more slim. The diaphragm doesn't poke out as much, but I think you know what would be awesome is somebody to do a torso swap between this and this. That's something actually I'm, I'm going to have to pay somebody to do that. That would be awesome. To get another one of these and put this torso over here, that would be really clean. Actually, I want to try something. I'm going to try, let's try putting the Ultimate Edition jacket on to this uh, Mattel Creations exclusive just to see what it looks like. So now we're going to be taking the Mattel Creations exclusive Cody Rhodes Ultimate, putting this jacket on here and seeing if, you know, that's an option for people if they want to, you know, put this jacket onto the older Ultimate Edition Cody. It may not clasp the best in the front. It may not be able to firmly clasp it, you know what I'm saying? But, all right, man, so there's that. If you guys want to try and put the jacket onto your old Ultimate Edition Cody, I think you could make that work, man. I mean, it looks a bit, I, I don't know, it looks pretty good to me, you know, if you put the, the hands in there. I didn't put the hands in there, but you know, it covers up that ugly torso, and I mean, the height's not that egregious. I don't know, maybe something you want to look into, but now let's put the cloth jacket that came on this figure originally, and we'll put this jacket over here, and then we'll look at the Supreme Collection Jazzwares figure up next to all these. So here's all three figures with their jackets on, of course, the two on the left. You do have the Jazzwares Supreme Cody Rhodes on the left. You have the Ultimate Edition Series 21 from Mattel in the, in the middle, and then we do have the Mattel Creations exclusive on the right with the cloth goods jacket, and I never liked this jacket on here. I like the idea of a cloth goods jacket. I think it can work. But this one was very, I don't know, just, I don't know, man. It's over, it was way too big. You, got, you guys can see how it kind of falls over him. It just doesn't look the best. This certainly looks better than this. But this is a really cool comparison to see Mattel's Cody Rhodes up next to Jazzwares Cody Rhodes. And Jazzwares Supreme is still so damn good, man. Like, no buts about it. Both of them are really damn good. And of course, it's not the same exact jacket, but <laughs> Jazzwares knocked this one out of the damn park. They really did. It looks so good. They did a fantastic job on that. But I am enjoying Mattel's as 
well. And just seeing them all next to each other is, is pretty cool, man. To see the progression and see the different figures we've been getting. I'm loving it, man. We are reaping all the benefits from all these different companies making these different figures and upgrading and challenging one another. So that's always nice to see. Competition breeds greatness. And we love to see it. And I love to see this damn Cody Rhodes, man. Killing it. And then for another Ultimate Edition comparison, we do have the Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns here on the left with the Undisputed Championship. We have Cody in the middle, obviously. And then we do have the Final Boss on the right just for some different comparisons here. And then for your WrestleMania 40 Night 1 main event, we have the tag team of Seth Rollins Ultimate Edition and Cody Rhodes Ultimate versus Roman Reigns Ultimate and my Fix Up Elite Final Boss Rock figure. I don't know. I thought it would look badass, so I went ahead and did it. And then we have my custom championship from Dan Turnquist right here, and I wanted to see what this looks like with this figure. And yeah, that looks pretty damn good. I mean, it even has the Cody side plates in there, and I definitely wanted to see what this would look like. And we're going to do some figure photography at the end segment, so definitely stay tuned for that. I've been, been adding figure photography in all my reviews. I really enjoy it, so I wanted to see what this Cody looks like with the new championship. And then here's Cody wearing the championship, just for a little, you know... I don't know. I just thought it looked really damn good, so I wanted to put this in the video. Too bad it doesn't come with this belt, but next year, I think we will see that. I think in a year's time, we will get Cody Rhodes WrestleMania 40 entrance gear with the title, all the bells and whistles, so this is just going to be a year placeholder, man. And then for one last comparison, we do have the AEW Unrivaled Series 1 Brandy Rhodes up next to Cody, so now you can recreate the WrestleMania 40 main event if you want to, or do like a cool, I don't know, there's plenty of things you could do on the display shelf with both of these, you know, next to each other, holding hands, embracing, you know, you can get at the moment at the end of WrestleMania 40 there. So very cool, man. Very cool to see these up next to each other and, and pose them up and do all those different things, man. So yeah, I wanted to get that last comparison in there with the Brandy Rhodes and the Cody Rhodes. But I think that pretty much wraps up our WWE Ultimate Edition 21 Cody Rhodes figure review, man. Really enjoy this figure. Really, really enjoy this figure. I think it's going to be one of those top Ultimate Editions of the year when it's all said and done at the end. I, I love it, man. It's everything you hope for. I really love the new boot mold they're giving Cody here. I love this gear. I like this gear when he first came out. I wish they didn't do the knee pads. I'll be real. I think that all his other elites in his last ultimate didn't have knee pads. And it's not that it really hinders it. I just wish they'd keep it consistent, right? There's there's so many guys that come with knee pads and it never bothers us. So to get knee pads on a guy we never get knee pads with, it kind of throws it off. I wish they would have kept that consistent across the board. Not that it really affects the figure horrifically. I just would prefer them not do it. I think he's one of those guys that can get away with not having knee pads and it actually works. But I like this Cody a lot. I, I wish that the another gripe I have is obviously the black on the jacket. I think that the jacket's not accurate. It doesn't come with the wings that he had during the entrance there, but it's not the biggest deal ever. I understand cost cuts and things. Maybe they couldn't, uh, you know, just nail it completely 100%, but, you know, you can hit that with some navy paint. It's not the biggest deal of all time, and I think it kind of still works. You know, it still looks really, really good on the figure, so yeah, that, that's kind of a nitpick there. I don't really care for the straight-faced head sculpt. I, I say this every time, man. I really wish they'd redo the Defining Moments head sculpt, and you can say that it's the same head sculpt, and it may be, but they did something with that defining moments that made it look more like Cody. I don't know if it was the eye print or what they did there, but that defining moments figure is in a world of its own when it comes to likeness to Cody Rhodes. So I don't know what the deal is there, but I, I still prefer the defining moments head sculpt, but I do like the, the screaming head sculpt. We've seen it before. So, you know, you only get two interchangeable heads there, but there's so many Cody figures and so many head sculpts you could pop on there that it's not the biggest deal ever. I, I don't mind the screaming head sculpt and he's got to do the whoa entrance. So there's that. There's no fisted hands. That doesn't really bother me either because we have so many fisted hands. You could pick from, right? They do also need to lower the neck tattoo. I've said this so many times before. It's not that close to the ear, man. There's a gap. They need to put it on the neck and leave it off the head sculpt for obvious reasons. When you move the head sculpt, you create a big gap and it looks weird and the continuation breaks the illusion. So there's all those lists of things there. But man, I really do enjoy this figure, man. I think it looks great. I'm enjoying it. Love posing this guy around in the arena. And again, as a Cody Crybaby, this gets a yes and a checkbox for me. So if you guys want an Ultimate Edition Cody Rhodes, you missed out on the Mattel Creations exclusive, I would say this is the epitome of a Cody Rhodes figure. This is the best Cody Rhodes you can buy for your money right now. This is better than the Mattel Creations exclusive. This is better than his Elite so far. Defining Moments may have a case, but that is from a specific time frame. That's from the Torn Peck Hell in a Cell matchup. So, you know, if you want that definitive Cody for now, this is the one to get. And if you want to do so, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% over there. And then throw in the championship from my man Dan Turnquist on here. Just throws it over the top. This belt looks incredible on the figure. And it's going to be a while before we actually get this championship in hand, especially with Cody Rhodes' side plates. So, but 
I think that pretty much wraps up the review, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your thoughts on this figure down in the comment section below if you guys own it. What do you like about it? What do you not like? I'd like to know all those things down below. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. As we are posting all the time. Daily on TikTok. Almost daily on everything else. But I'm getting out of here, man. Huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Appreciate you fellas over there, man. You guys are absolute GOAT status. Thank you guys so very much for all that you do. I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I will catch you guys later.